Bartends! What is your profession? As Philip II of Macedon was conquering Greek city-states left and right, Sparta was left alone. Philip had achieved a crushing victory, and Sparta was relatively weak and without walls. Philip sent a message to the Spartans saying, If I invade Laconia, you will be destroyed never to rise again. The Spartans replied with one word, If. When someone asked why they visited disgrace upon those among them who lost their shields, but did not do the same thing to those who lost their helmets or their breastplates, the Spartan king Demaritus is said to have replied, because the latter they put on for their own protection, but the shield for the common good of the whole line. Feel no fear before the multitude of men, do not run in panic, but let each man bear his shield straight towards the four fighters, regarding his own life as hateful and holding the dark spirits of death as dear as the radiance of the sun. Xerxes wrote to him, It is possible for you not by fighting against God but by ranging yourself to my side, to be the sole ruler of Greece. But he wrote in reply, If you had any knowledge of the noble things in life, you would refrain from coveting others' possessions. But for me to die for Greece is better than to be the sole ruler over the people of my race. When Xerxes wrote again, Hand over your arms, he wrote in reply, Come and take them. Herodotus reports that just before the Battle of Thermopylae, a Spartan warrior named Dianakes was told that the Persian archers could blank out the sun with their arrows. He replied, good, then we shall have our battle in the shade. It was natural for Spartan women to think and speak as Gorgo, the wife of Leonidas is said to have done. When some foreign lady, as it would seem, told her that the women of Lacedaemon were the only women of the world who could rule men, with good reason, she said, for we are the only women who bring forth men. An old man wandering around the Olympic Games looking for a seat was jeered at by the crowd until he reached the seat of the Spartans. Whereupon every Spartan younger than him, and some that were older, stood up and offered him their seat. The crowd applauded, and the old man turned to them with a sigh, saying, All Greeks know what is right, but only the Spartans do it. Let a man learn how to fight by first daring to perform mighty deeds not where the missiles won't reach if he is armed with a shield, but getting in close where the fighting is hand to hand, inflicting a wound with his long spear or sword, taking the enemy's life. With his foot planted alongside a foot, and his shield pressed against shield, and his crest up against crest and his helm against helm, and his breast against breast, embroiled in the action, let him fight man to man holding secure in his grasp half of his sword or spear. Rise up, warriors.